Okay, here we go. So there's my American flag that I still have yet to move that flag holder. <laughs> Let's see, this cute little truck came from Walmart. And I have placed my little um, urn a little closer to the steps and I added those two little American star flag stars are just from Dollar Tree. And you guys look, um, I don't know if you remember I showed you some of these water globes that I picked up from Dollar General for $2. Well, I happened to go back in and I found this one and another one. They're actually bigger and they were $3 each, but they're brighter colors. And so I popped that one in there. They're so cute. Um, but anyway, and I don't know what's going on here with my um, plants, but this is an impatient and I have yet to see this thing bloom. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Um, but I have another sad story about my other plant, which I'll talk about right now. Um, so anyway, I moved this little cart thing over on the other side of the door and that's where my lamp is. Um, I actually don't have the lamp plugged in right now because unfortunately I'm going to have to probably just either A, just not even worry about it um, right now, or I'll have to run an extension cord and I just don't know if I'm willing to do that. So well, anyway, we'll see. Um, so anyway, I have this cute little um, red fire truck that I've had for quite some time. It used to be in my son's nursery when he was a baby. And let's see, there's my B-Skep and that um, galvanized watering can. That little gas stop, Route 66, came from Walmart. And as well as this Route 66 sign. Anyway, okay, so my sad story is about this begonia here. If you guys watched my um, haul where I showed you my just, you know, spring, summer porch decor. I was so impressed with this begonia. It's a tuberous begonia. Um, I have probably mentioned before that I do not have a green thumb, but I've been really trying hard. Well, anyway, I don't know what is going on with this thing, but it does not look nearly as beautiful as it did. Um, I, it had been going great. I came out here, I don't know, probably a week ago now, and um, I added some... Um, Oh gosh, what's it called? Miracle Grow to it. And then a couple days later, I came out here again and just noticed it just doesn't look good anymore. So, of course, I deadheaded it and I'm kind of trying to figure out. I started trying to prune it a little bit, hoping that maybe that's what it needed. I don't know, but if you guys have any ideas about maybe something I'm doing wrong, or maybe because it's like I said, it's a tuberous um, begonia, they kind of grow on these like little tubes basically. Um, maybe I was supposed to prune them to keep them more bushy looking. I don't know. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. So anyway, moving on. Um, I still have my hello sign from Walmart and there is my Uncle Sam. My mother-in-law gave him to me a long time ago. He actually, part of his little hat got broken but and he has a crack, but I love Mr. Uncle Sam. <laughs> I just think he's so cute with his little American flag and he's greeting everybody that comes to the door. <clears throat> and this wreath is just my deco mesh wreath that I made a couple years ago, and I still really like it. Um, you know, I'm sure you may have heard me mention before that my tastes in wreaths have started to change, and I'm kind of wanting to scale back on how big they are. But I just, I still really like this one. I didn't have time to make another one for July 4th, so I just went ahead and put this guy up again, and I, I really like him. Let's see, on each of my... Um, Lights out here, I have these cute little American flag bows that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I probably could have made cuter bows, but once again, sometimes it's just easier just to buy things, especially for a dollar. But anyway, um, these blue and red stars actually did not start out those colors. I painted them a couple years ago when I bought them, and I specifically only used them for my July 4th patriotic porch decor. Anyway, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you this is the sneak peek picture that I showed you guys. I moved my little table and chairs over to the other side of the porch. Um, and these cute little star pillows were what I picked up from Walmart. And then I kept my little three-tiered shelf here that's kind of done with the little natural, you know, um, birds and um, little pots and driftwood and stuff like that. I kept that all the same except for I just added two more little American red flags and then I put this old one it was one of my kids um our tricycle and you know I'm so thankful that I kept this thing um I kept telling my husband no no we're not getting rid of it we're not getting rid of it I'm so glad I did because I have just been inspired to you know keep it especially for July 4th I just think it looks so cute I actually tried to put a fern on it but the ferns that I have are too big 
So therefore it just didn't work. Um, anyway, so let's move on. We will go across here. Um, oh, I'll show you. I'll show you from the other side too, but I've got two of the American flag buntings. Um, I had ferns hanging there, but I took them down to put the buntings up and I actually need to move the ferns. I'll probably put one here and one on the other side just for this season. Of course, I still have my hummingbird feeder. I actually purchased a new one. I'm not sure if this was in my last video or not, but the one that I had had didn't have the place for the little birdies to perch. And so I picked this one up, plus this one's glass. The other one was plastic. And so it's really cute and I really like it. Um, anyway, hummingbirds are like my favorite bird. Anyway, so here's what we have going on over here. Um, this is an old American flag that I made out of a pallet. Um, it was a pretty, um, pretty decently easy, cool thing to do. We've had it, I've had it for a couple years now, so it's definitely weathered. And where we had it stored was outside, which I told my husband I'm not going to be able to do that again because some of the, where it had been stored, it was, like I said, it was just kind of outside underneath this, like, um, oh, it's not, it's, it's got a top. Any, anyway, long story short, I got to be careful because some of the wood down here was starting to get messed up from kind of sitting in, you know, the moisture and stuff. But anyway, this is a bench that I had inside and I decided to move it out here for right now. Um, and this, if you recall seeing this in any of my other videos, it had black and white wall fabric. Well, I just happened to have this red and white chevron. So I just kind of just loosely, um, basically just kind of shoved and tucked, <laughs> tucked that in there. But anyway, um, these two pillows right here have my little birdies on the back. I know you've seen them. This American flag pillow I love. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I think I picked that up at a thrift store. So let's see. This rug is another one of my favorite things. I almost hate to use it out here because I'm always afraid it's going to get messed up. But I have threatened my children not to. I was like, please don't anybody please walk on this with like muddy shoes or anything like that. Um, because I love it. It's old. I bought it at a consignment store. You know, like I said, I absolutely love it. And I don't know if it's silly of me to have it out here, but this is what I've been doing for the last couple of years, and I just like it. Anyway, there's that cute little picnic basket that you guys have seen. I just kind of interchanged the little um, towel for a red and yellow one, and I put an American flag in it. And then over here in this pot, there's another one of those bigger um, water globe things that I picked up from the Dollar General. Um, see what I mean? The I don't know if you recall in my other little water globes that I picked up, but they were just, they were pretty, but they were, um, well, matter of fact, here's one right here. See, it, well, you can't really see, but anyway, um, these are just brighter colors. You can see them more. So in that pot, I just placed some little red and blue pinwheels that I picked up from the Dollar Tree last year and another American flag. So anyway, I'm going to step down so you guys can see the full overview kind of overcast here today. As a matter of fact, I feel a little sprinkling going on. So, oh, the other thing, um, I need to actually get a little um, Americana type of little flag for this little hook, but um, I just have my bird there still. They were on this side, now they're on this side. And this is another thing. Here's some more impatience, guys. You know, I usually have good luck with impatience, but once again, this one's not blooming either. I do not know. I, mean, I don't know. Guys, if you have any tips, like I said, I don't have a green thumb. I'm trying. <laughs> but anyway, I just shoved another American flag. And so this is probably, oh, forgot about this guy. Here's another Uncle Sam that I have. Um, it's just cute. I just have him kind of hanging out right there on the corner. And we still need to bleach all of our woodwork. My husband was like, oh, I wish I would have done that before you decorated. But, you know, we've been so busy lately. So hopefully we'll be getting to that soon. But anyway, um, this guy right here was actually made for me years and years and years ago by this lady. Um, she went to our church and she was such a wonderful woodworker. I mean, so stinking cute. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Let me mention this guy too, because this is actually would be a very easy DIY craft for anybody that's kind of looking for some inspiration. Um, I did not make this. The same lady that made me that Uncle Sam I just showed you, she made this. And all it is is a twig, and she took some really cool patriotic um, fabric and just tore it to give it a rough edge, and she just tied it in knots on the twig, and then she just has it, oh, I can't, I'm have to get up here again. She just has it in, um, she kind of glued it onto this bigger 
piece of wood to kind of hold it but it's kind of lopsided and I actually like it she actually did put some little rusty like stars on there kind of primitive looking but it's so cute but anyway guys so that's pretty much it I don't think that I'll really do too much on the inside for July 4th um, we're actually leaving a couple days afterwards to go visit family um, so pretty much my porch is probably what I will do if I do anything else I'll make sure I post a video about it but um, anyway if you guys enjoy this give it this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy watching home decor and hauls and um, DIYs and all that fun stuff then go ahead and subscribe to this channel you guys I appreciate each one of you so much all right so here's an overview thanks guys There you go.